Now, I'll admit, I am not the biggest Jurassic World Evolution 2 fan, but I do enjoy the fact that they have marine species, and that goes perfectly with the latest DLC that was just announced, the Prehistoric Marine Species Pack. This one honestly took everyone by storm. We haven't really had, like, you know, a mechanic-specific oriented pack just yet, so finally getting one for marine species is huge to me. Now, this pack's going to come with a few new species. That's going to be the Archelon, which I'm super excited about. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. The Nothosaurus, which seems to have come from Camp Cretaceous. I don't really know. I don't watch Camp Cretaceous. Not really my ballpark, guys. Uh, the Dunkelosteus, which is very cool. There was just a recent very cool scientific discovery that was done with them that actually shows that they have, like, much shorter bodies than originally thought. So that's very cool to see that. I don't know. Even though we do get, like, a Jurassic Park-styled one in here, uh, it's still very cool that they even brought this species in to begin with. And the Shonisaurus, which is actually a very big ichthyosaur. In fact, Mega Game and Rex and I actually teamed up on a mod for these guys a while back, so it's very cool to see that while Planet Zoo sometimes gets like mods kicked out, Jurassic World Evolution 2 does as well. It seems like Frontier does not hold back with that. Now let's talk about this Archelon for a little bit, because it does get this new sort of quote-unquote enrichment item that I think is going to be super awesome to see what this means for Jurassic World Evolution as well as Planet Zoo. They get a new lagoon platform. You guys can see it in this picture right over here. So the Archelon will be able to kind of climb out of the water and kind of like, you know, bathe in the sun a little bit. Maybe, I don't think that they have egg laying mechanics. I really doubt it. But it's going to be super awesome because all the time whenever you're like playing Jurassic World Evolution, whenever you build a lagoon, you're always building for the underwater view, which it's it draws back a little bit. Uh, otherwise, you kind of have like your giant animals kind of like the mosasaurus climbing up and uh grabbing those shark hanging feeders i think yeah it's been a while since i played i can't wait to get my hands on this pack though uh but this is going to be super cool because it's going to bring a new dimension to your parks wherein you're actually going to be able to build over the water which is going to be so cool to see now of course tomorrow there will be sort of like an update feature announcement uh it's kind of weird that jurassic world evolution does it backwards than planet zoo because we usually hear like you know oh we're getting a new update oh my god what could this mean for like you know the actual animals in here super interesting in here i can't wait to see what happens now all of these animals look fantastic to me all the skins look beautiful the archelon is a little bit weird it looks like it has kind of like a macaw kind of beak uh, I guess that's kind of what they might have looked like, though, so I don't really know. Super interesting that we get this species, though. I'm super excited just to be able to build for these guys. Hopefully, I'm hoping, absolutely hoping, that we get some more underwater decorations, because it's so tough to really make these exhibits feel like they're yours. Uh, so I'm very excited to see what that spells for us once we actually do get our hands on this pack. Now, obviously, I haven't played Jurassic World Evolution since, like, the Cretaceous pack or whatever. Uh, I got the multi-key, forgot to redeem it, and now I don't have the multi-key anymore, so that's a little embarrassing. So I'm gonna have to get these packs relatively soon, because I honestly do want to do, like, some Jurassic World builds. Maybe not, like, a full series, but I definitely do want to have some fun with it, and maybe make a park or two with someone. I don't really know. We'll see about that in the future. Now, let's bring in Planet Zoo, because listen, how could I not talk about this damn game? <laughs> now, this could possibly mean that, I don't know, maybe they're testing the waters with aquatic, fully aquatic animals for Planet Zoo, or maybe they're just having a little bit of fun with this super cool mechanic that's already in Jurassic World Evolution 2. But the fact that they set up their character designers to create an Archelon makes me hopeful that maybe we could get some like sea turtles or something in Planet Zoo. Maybe even like something like a fly river turtle. I feel like that would work out very well. But I'm not holding my breath on it, quite literally, because, get it, because swimming, I guess, I, I, I don't know, I give up. Uh, very interested to see what this means for the future of Jurassic World Evolution 2. It's about damn time that they get a DLC, because I guess there was kind of like a lull period where nobody got any DLC, which was a little bit sad. Also, I saw people getting angry at, like, other content creators for saying that the special stream, quote-unquote, wasn't going to be anything special. I mean, like, guys, whenever they say special with, like, the little sparkles, 
that always means that there's going to be content coming your way relatively soon. So I don't know. The, the dinosaur fans scare me. I, I, they scare me more than the dinosaurs. With that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are new here and you do want to cover, like, you know, if you do want me to see, like, covering Jurassic news content i guess uh let me know i'm very much happy to not really do a series because that's a little bit of a time investment for me uh but i'm more than happy to do like a speed build or two or show off some parks super excited to see what that means in the future though thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed the quick little update video planet zoo news should be coming relatively soon within like the next two months or so Thank you so much for stopping by. Can't wait to see you all in the next one. Hope you guys are excited for the prehistoric marine species pack. Go check it out on Steam. Wishlist it. Yada yada. And see you guys then. Bye bye.